is incredibly interesting. There's a company here in the Duke City that may soon be helping transform the way people interact with the digital world. You, me, your kids, your parents, your grandparents. Imagine this, being able to make something happen by just pointing in a certain direction. That is what Trilumina is setting out to do. The company recently got a $900,000 grant to help design, engineer, and market a very special chip. Kirk Otis and David Abel from Trilumina are here to try to explain this it's incredible stuff and put it down on the terms of someone who's not very tech savvy. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for coming in. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so this is it's a 3D. I don't even I don't even want to try to describe this. Please do though. It's a laser Kirk. that pulses out that provides uh, 3D sensing. So you can see things in space. A computer system can see things in space, allows gesture control, um, sees other vehicles, that kind of thing. Okay, I want to show you brought in. This is, uh, oh, actually what we're seeing, oh, oh, let's go, go back to that picture real quick. Because that's what we want to talk about, how it's used, or it can be used in our common lives. Yeah, think of uh, light sonar. Um, okay. So we send out pulses of light, and it sees the environment. Uh, and returns information and, and, and allows uh, computers and devices to see the environment. And, and the, the photo that we showed a second ago is an integration into an automobile. There. Okay, and that's helping us because it's basically covering our blind spots, particularly important for truckers like we saw there. Yeah, adaptive cruise control, distracted drivers, lane departure warnings. Okay. We hope to be around the entire car. Gotcha. It's okay. the kind of technology that will allow autonomous driving eventually. So is, is that really going to happen? It will. It will. How soon? It'll probably be you know, 20, 30 years before it gets fully deployed. You'll okay. see it on high-end luxury cars. And okay. It'll take 10, 10 years before it gets deployed on all cars. And, you know, but it'll take, it'll take time, but it'll happen. Yeah. Okay, so this technology, as we've seen, it's already out there. There's technology I've seen in some smartphones that can follow your eye movement and mm -hmm. scroll with that. But the technology that you two are doing at Trilumina is, you say, it's cheaper and it's better. How so? It provides better resolution than the existing uh, solutions, so you can see more fine movements. Okay. And it's much more compact size-wise than the existing solutions. Okay, David, how long have you all been working on this? And what is this grant, the $900,000? What's that being helping you being able to do? Well, we brought the company to Albuquerque in 2011. So we've been here a couple years now. Uh, the grant we received is a joint product development with a, an Israeli company. Um, it's an R&D foundation. They've granted us uh, $900,000 to develop a gesture control uh -huh. device that goes into mobile phones, tablets, okay. laptops. So uh, we expect to be in millions of devices in the next two years. We're really excited. That is incredible. And we always talk about Albuquerque's economy and the need to have private companies here. We can't just rely on the government, which the state does, and the state's leaders admit that too much. And this is what you guys are doing, bringing very good private jobs to town. That's right. High-end jobs, uh, it's technology, uh, the skill sets are here in Albuquerque, um, really a hotbed for this kind of uh, skill set. So it's, it's a tremendous opportunity for Albuquerque and you know, it's really the only place this company could have gotten this kind of uh, uh, skills to, to, to bring this technology to market. That's very good to hear because one thing you hear companies say is we need trained workers. In fact, you're working with UNM to train students and working with them to get them into this kind of tech savvy world and that's really where a lot of things are going now David. Yeah we have uh, two engineering students uh, acting as interns with the company right now. Uh, we've leveraged heavily on Sandia National Labs. Uh, we okay. have three former Sandia, uh, uh, two PhDs, uh, experts in optics and lasers who are working with us and bringing this technology out into the market. It's really exciting. It is. It, it's extremely interesting. It blows my mind. It's kind of hard for someone who's not tech savvy to comprehend, but what you guys and Trilumina are doing is incredible. David Otis, or excuse me, Kirk Otis, David Abel, thank you so much for coming in. When this gets into phones and all, please come back. I want to see it, and if there's anything you can help test it out or something, as you talk about just movement and all that, it just blows my mind. But it's very, very cool. We will. All right, will. Thank, thank you for bringing you. your company to Albuquerque. We certainly appreciate it. 727.